vibrant views, alive depictions, and positive outlook. That is how Fernando Masolo's works are perceived and taken by the art world. But how about the darkness of despair and harshness of life? Can't art celebrate both ends of the spectrum? With Victoria Edades, Edasha's soul, modernism approach in art emerged in the Philippine landscape. His canvas uncovered the sugar coats of reality. This is Uncover, somber in the contrast. Mabuhay and welcome to one of the most anticipated and most awaited online art exhibits this 2022. This is a virtual art exhibit where we will be bringing to life the unusual and extraordinary artworks of Victoria Edades. Victoria Edades is known as the father of Philippine modern art for revolutionizing the art of modern painting that made him earn his rightful title. Edades was named a National Artist for Visual Arts in 1976 for his modernist approach. Victoria has always been passionate in art and teaching since he was a child and was called apprentice teacher at his art class in 7th grade when he was growing up in Pangasinan. He moved to America after high school and earned a Master of Fine Arts in Painting from the University of Washington. When Edad's returned to the Philippines in 1928, he held a one-man show at Ermita displaying his 30 paintings including some that had garnered praise in the United States. Edades became a dean of the University of Santo Tomas Department of Architecture in 1930, a position he held for three decades. His contribution to the Philippine art is an important part of the country's culture's ongoing progression. So what are you waiting for? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the tour. Gandang araw, I will be the one to open doors for you. This is Franz Arena, the start of this wonder. As you enter, one of these famous artworks will be the one to welcome you in this fascinating journey of your lifetime. This artwork was created in the United States and displayed at the Seattle's Fine Art Society, which included artists from Washington, Idaho, Utah, Oregon, and Canada. This is known as The Sketch. This painting earned him the second highest award. According to Edades, the models in this painting are his friends. The portrayed artist is an Ilocano who was studying sculpting at the time. Another acquaintance, Mr. De Venezia, who was studying advertising arts, appears in the background. Eleanor McMiller, a family friend, is the lady resting on the couch. The sculptor is drawing a still life in front of him, not Eleanor, as some people believe. Since Edades is a Filipino, the painting aroused quite a lot of interest. It even made it to one of America's daily papers. As we shift to our second gallery, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Unsolvable Paradox with a dry sense of humor, Vivian Lara Marie Usman. Maayong adlaw! Let me present to you one of Victoria Edades' significant works, The Builders. Did you know that this painting was exhibited in 1928 as part of his one-person show and was declared the first ever modernist painting in the country. Yes, that's right. This work emphasized sequential elements of design over other visual elements, conveying the essential nature of men who work through the contortion of the carcasses. The builders also depict a realistic scene whereby each man can remain independent despite being surrounded by others. Amazing, right? Now, please take note that Edades considered his personal views and his audience perception. This is to support his campaign for modernism, where he uses this to demonstrate his exceptional abilities and skills in modern art. Are you ready to move on? You better be, because we won't let you settle for less. Okay, moving on. Masantosya kumusan! We will now proceed to another outstanding artwork of Victoria Edadas, which is the mother and daughter. Quick trivia, guys! This artwork was done while he was studying in abroad. Edadas left for United States after graduating from high school in 1919. 
He lived in Seattle for several years, specializing in modern arts and architecture. Eventually, he met his one and only wife, Jane Noble Garrett, a house mother of Filipino House Club in Seattle. Later, Jane decided to marry Dades during his time in the United States and gave birth to his one and only daughter, Jane. What a happy ending! In case you're wondering why I mentioned this journey of his, it is because it is another way for him to make an artwork. Other than that, yes, Jane and Jane are the one depicted in the mother and daughter portrait. What an excellent motivation! This was done in 1926 and it's made on oil and canvas and painting. This has been Chelsea V. Garcia, your caring and approachable tour guide for the day. In our third gallery, here sits the two artworks. The first one called Two Igorot Women and the other The Interaction. Two Igorot Women was created in a Goganist manner that emphasizes the theme of indigenous culture in which gold bodies are celebrated through religion and ritual. Moreover, this painting deposits the relation of body and mind to nature and culture as it vows to pivot the passive gaze against women. Because women, they are not mere objects. And that is a revolutionary perspective, isn't it? I agree. Now on the other side of our gallery, showcases the collaborative works of the triumvirate. Can you guess the trio? Well, Carlos Botan Francisco, Galo Campo, and Victoria Dades themselves crafted the interaction in 1935. This also served as an avenue for the creation of the 13 moderns after the Second World War, where artists included battle for the moderns' approach in art. Good day. We are Vida de Guzman and Kim hyun -so, your enchanting duo. Apart from the featured works in our gallery, there are artworks that are yet to be delved into their depths. On behalf of my team, this has been Marian Lalo, one of the visions of this exhibit, together with our lead guide, Irish Fernandez, extending our most artistic gratitude and exploring the canvases of the father of modern Philippine art. As we part ways in this tour, we hope that this exhibit has inculcated learnings within your creative souls and a burning passion to celebrate different perspectives, not just in art, but life as well. Be not afraid to uncover, somber in the contrast.